Okay, this is what we were talking about before break, a possible milestone in dementia care as new artificially intelligent glasses may make it easier to communicate with our loved ones impacted by this condition. News Nation's Elizabeth Pran joining us now with more on this. Elizabeth, I mean, this sounds groundbreaking, game changing for families. How does it work? Yeah. It's unbelievable, Marky. I mean, I'm one of the millions who are dealing with this in our family. And Karyaya, the company behind this, is already working with dementia patients. It's linking up college-age students with the elderly, and they're doing it in real time. They're working across the country, and now they're introducing this new technology, Medicare LLM. These are programmable AI glasses in real time providing support to dementia patients. So what does it do? Well, it provides everything from facial recognition, so a niece or a nephew you or a caregiver, a family member. Uh, it can help people lo uh, find lost house keys, remember tasks, meals, blood sugar, even getting to appointments on time. This is your granddaughter, Annie. Okay, so this has a chip and a sensor inside of these glasses. It guides the wearer through daily routines, reminders of medications. One of the biggest things, as I, someone who's experiencing this, Marquis, is that it creates and supports a routine. That is one of the biggest factors when it comes to folks who are dealing with dementia. Marquis? Yeah, and so you know better than anybody else, I mean, how game-changing this could be for your family, Elizabeth. Are there any concerns or, or limitations with this technology? Sure, right? I mean, it's a wearable device. You and I use wearable devices, and so there are security risks. This is privacy. This is data. So I sat down with the CEO who said all the information that you use inside the app is contained within the app. His biggest challenge going forward right now would be accessibility. He wants to keep these glasses at less than $500 or get them covered by insurance. We think that this is a assistive tech is a huge opportunity right now. Uh, for aging population. And I think that a lot of the approvals are going to start getting streamlined for health insurers and eventually even Medicare to cover. So going forward, these glasses are going to be debuted at the CES, the Consumer Electronics Show. That's in January in Las Vegas. It could be available to the public as early as the spring. Marquis? Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.